there's something really valuable about after school, it's not compulsory education. And why is that valuable? Well, when I was a classroom teacher for 17 years, those babies had to stay. They were mine. <laughs> they had to be there. But in after school, they vote with their feet. So they have to be engaged and they have to keep coming back because they're being pulled back into it. Learning that is active, collaborative, meaningful, supports mastery and expands horizons. Uh, you can see that that has a lot of overlap with high quality STEM learning. Um, you'd, you'd almost imagine that they were describing a high quality STEM learning experience. So if we shape the clubs, the activities, the toys, we can help divert our children into selecting STEM as a content major because they're identifying themselves as, I love doing this, this is a ton of fun, it's something I did with my friends. Nobody ever played with Barbie dolls and then said they wanted to major in sociology, right? But we did play with connector sets and decided we wanted to build. This is a really exciting time to include after school in the larger STEM education conversation for a number of reasons. The first and foremost being that the after school field just in the past five years, I think, has really embraced STEM programming very, very enthusiastically. A survey we did about a year ago showed that 99% of the field thinks that this is really important for them to do. We think the goal is to expand and increase quality STEM after school and summer expanding learning experiences for, for youth. And I'm very happy to say that after three years of being in the job, um, you know, after school is always at the table now when policy conversations are held in DC. So welcome to the Power of Discovery STEM Squared. And the STEM Squared is balancing what happens in the after school setting, the platform for after school, with the instructional day. So when you think about next generation science standards and common core state standards, here's an opportunity of utilizing the after school platform as a place for piloting. There are just all these different opportunities around next gen and after school um, that we really need to be looking at if we want to see any kind of successful implementation of next gen because next gen without informal is going to fail. Those student-centered activities, project-based learning, activities that complement what's happening during the instructional day, diversified subject matter, and offering equitable access to all students. Oftentimes our issue in STEM education is not a lack of resources, it is a lack of coordination. And so our mission is really connecting these statewide STEM networks and education stakeholders to speed up. What we're not doing is saying, this is what STEM looks like, do this. We're saying, make a plan to address your local context, meet your needs, utilize your local assets, and form those partnerships that are needed to make that happen. Really, the value of networks is really what our grandmothers taught us. It's very human, and it's what we, we know now, and it's what we've always known. It's really about relationships. I hear over and over, the greatest value is when we come together. Local innovation with state leadership, through that we can achieve national impact. Students in our country will lead the world lead the world. We always have to be thinking about what is worthy of our children that we have such an honor to serve.